Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. It's still decaf sound, um, meaning no coffee day, I don't know. <laughs> day 201. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, guys. I'm gonna get the zodiac first, fire sign. Okay. Okay, you got the Aries. You're gonna be dealing with an Aries. Okay, this gets separated and extended. Again, this is Vedic Sidereal Astrology. Okay, so learn to read your chart, meaning look for your ascendant, uh, Moon, Jupiter, and Venus. Those are um, Taurus energy here. Helpful um, more than your sun sign, okay, because you don't read the relationship through sun sign. It will resonate, however, on a soul level, meaning it's happening. It is resonating on a soul level. High Priestess, we have different dimensions, right? Okay, see, just the High Priestess. Um, Pisces energy there, okay. So that's when you know, predictions will be more better suited for you. Gemini, love this. Okay. So, there is uh, two people here who's manifesting a connection. Um, there is someone here that uh, chances are they know that um, they know that something is real. They know that it's very tangible. Um, beyond you know beyond the whole oh soulmate magnetic attraction and whatnot and this feeling of I need you you need me and inseparable you know uh, there is someone here either you or the other person knows that there is something bigger than that okay which is love okay the brand is a soulmate you know it's like we, you know like we brand it we title it but there's something bigger than that okay and someone knows one of you knows whoever knows makes the right move so someone will be the bigger person someone will make that in, uh, initial move okay so that's that one let's see what's going on okay let's see taurus When I was pre-shuffling, there was a uh, resistance. So, either someone is resisting the connection right now. Someone is hurting. Mm -hmm. It's hurting because they're resisting. Or whoever, whoever is always a hurt. The one who resists it is the one who's always hurting. Okay. Apply to your situation. Again, this is uh, no gender. So it can be a bro. You know, you're welcome in this channel. Oh, here we go. Knight of Cups, uh, someone is very sweet and charming, um, someone that you has caught your attention. The moment you seen this person, you laid eyes on, you were in it, okay? Um, talk about that, guys. Uh, okay. um, this is when you fall in love by the first date, uh, Knight of Cups, because the Knight of Wands, you get in bed in the first date. Uh -huh. So, the emotion and feelings union, or they know, okay, that's like, okay, this is someone I'm falling for, this is someone I'm loving, okay, that's the Knight of Cups. Knights travel, okay, kings stay where they're at, so, because it's moving, right, there's a horse, so, we could have met this person during travel. When I say during travel, you don't have to be out of the country and whatnot. You can be just crossing state, you know, you were just visiting a friend and then you met this person, you know, that kind of energy. Having this energy here with the Knight of Cups, um, I feel like there is, again, there is, because only the Knight of Cups also looks for their soulmate. That's why it's stepping into the water. Queen of Wands, okay. You'll be dealing with another fire sign. Or another what they are Leo. So this person totally mesmerized. Whoever this person is, hella good looking. Hella good looking. Okay. This person will never stop obsessing about how this person looks. Aesthetically, Queen of Wands is the most pleasing to the eyes. When I say pleasing, they are just damn sensual. Same as a knight, same as the king of wands. This person looking for love. Find someone irresistible, but very carnal, okay? Hence, magnetic attraction. 
Now, the queen can be a player. The king can be a player, the knight can be a player, anybody can be a player. But the knight of cups, though, is a sweet individual. Innocent. To a certain degree. I'm not saying that they are, but let's just say you don't need the seven of cups with the queen of wands to know that they have options. But they don't have to be a Leo to have an options. This is Mars energy. Okay. It's fire. Wheel of Fortune. So you met this person during travel, this is Jupiterian. Um, there can be uh, you know this whole feeling of uh, like what I told you, it's just like it's something bigger. Um, Jupiter is a bigger planet. Um, this is also an energy where something along the way in your life or in their life grew. Is it feelings? Is it the finances? Something changed. Something that who you are or what you do, and again, it applies to both people, have changed. That's a word of fortune. Your life changed after meeting this person, okay? Because it's faded. There's something that you guys have overcome already. Can be the love is growing also now. Because the word of fortune is going to spin. An event is about to unfold. Jupiter is in your seventh house. Wow. King of Wands. Definitely that person that you are fated with. That's for sure. That's bonkers. Mm -hmm. You're going to go crazy with this person. Because the chemistry, you know. This can also just be one person who's falling in love now with this person who's just... Um, but both are magnetically attracted now. But this person has wealth, abundance, has so much thing going on in their life. You know, this is a... Um, this is someone who... Because this is... They get things by being attractive. Okay? So meaning they have good looks, um, you know. And it's something that they capitalize on. It's their business, okay? So apply it, like, you know, actor, model, um, influencer. Um, doors unlock for this person because of how they look. Even though, they, you know, it can be a business person who just damn good looking also. Again, these are good looking people. The king, the ones are the good looking people, okay? Because it's sensual, not just aesthetics. Knight of Swords with a hanger. Huh, interesting. So get a Knight of Cups there, get a Knight of Swords. Um, this king does not like where you guys are standing right now. Um, the queen cannot, probably is not making a move, and the queen is king is waiting for the other person to make a move. Someone is getting impatient. Someone wants to understand what is this delay, why we're not moving forward with the connection. Because this is sudden communication that you that you won't see coming. Um, this is a, the Aries God is also like waking up and uh, this is just like oh I know what I have to do. I'm going for it and I'm about to take action. So this energy right here is about to take action either to manifest the connection, to break the the cycle because that's a wheel of fortune to finally be together or just to break the cycle. Period. Because it can be a cycle of stagnation. Both have options here. Both have options. But they don't. Like, like, for example, if it's a celebrity, everybody's going after them. But it doesn't mean that they're sleeping with everyone, right? You understand me? Both do get attention from other people. But right now, these two people here are just looking at each other. The world can be on a blaze in a fire, but they're still looking at each other. This is like, you know, you, you, you guys can be staring just each other right now. Who makes the move? Either we break the cycle, 
we move towards together or we break the cycle done. Okay? Because remember, I told you someone's going to make an action. Link down there in the description box for the extended. Paki like, paki share, paki post. Para makapahinga. Palam. Five of Cups. The feminine energy is um, upset. They're not happy. But they want truth, clarity, and they want to rectify the situation. This is a person who's committing now. Justice. We got a five pentacles.